Okay, so when you guys are ever around campus, anybody ever get you guys mixed up? I don't think so. He's, he's quite a bit taller, so that, that helps it out. It, uh, it happens in our some of our mail files in the business school. <laughs> We've had some stuff placed around, but uh, mostly people just ask which ones. Which. What about phone calls or emails? Do you, do you ever get Adam's emails or do you ever get Ross's emails or phone calls? No, it's mainly homework. So I'll, I get all his homeworks in my file. I can see how he's doing on courses. <laughs> Yeah, no email surprise. Yeah. Okay, five questions. I want to get, we want to get to know you guys. Okay, off the cuff answers here. Favorite food? Spaghetti. <laughs> Steak. Steak. Do you have any pre-match rituals? Uh, I was listening to uh, Gold Dust with uh, Mr. Brian Haywood, and uh, we have a fun time. So. What about you, Ross? Uh, I'm developing my college tennis rituals. Uh, not right now. Just okay. You're a sophomore. You got plenty of time. <laughs> favorite tennis player besides besides Ross? <laughs> uh, Djokovic is my favorite, I think. Uh, I like Federer. Favorite professional sports team? Uh, the Texans. Uh, the Bulls. Everything's Chicago. Do you enjoy playing singles or doubles the most? Uh, I enjoy singles more. I don't really like playing doubles. Got a horrible partner. So. <laughs> what about you, Ross? Um, I actually like doubles more when my partner plays well. <laughs> it, uh, it helps a lot more when he's playing well because usually when he, it's, he plays well, nobody else touches the ball, so it's nice for me. Uh, no, doubles is fun for me. It's more social. And, uh, okay, uh, three basic questions here. What part of Ross's game do you like the most, and what part of <laughs> Adam's game do you like the most? Uh, you know, Ross is a really good serve, and so when we play doubles, it's really nice. Some games, I don't even have to touch the ball. Uh, makes it a lot easier on me. Um, I like his return a lot. Definitely, uh, <laughs> he plays the ad side. There's more uh, big points on the ad side. And definitely way more reliable. So. Who's the uh, prankster on this team this year? Do you guys have one? Um, a little bit. Hey, a little no, bit. I, I would say uh, there have been some incidents. I would say Brian and Gary, Brian Haywood and Gary Parisier kind of like to prank everyone on the team and just kind of ask them about stories if you ever want to hear, hear some funny Ross, ones. you got anybody different? Uh, well, he's our main, like, jokester. <laughs> um, I'd say he's a jokester. Kareem's a little sly. Um, but we're not too far in the season to work the pranks yet. It'll, it'll come around. One word to describe Roger Fulmer, your head coach. Uh, you want to go first? a reserved, tough one. Reserved. Okay. Um, very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. And last question. What What would it mean to win a national championship again uh, for the Washington University men's tennis team? Uh, that would mean a lot. Um, you know, we actually just had a discussion at a team meeting how we have a pretty large senior class and we've literally won nothing. Um, no real titles, no conference, no championship. We've gotten third or fourth every year. So it would mean a lot to us, and I know it would mean a lot to the program and coach, too. For younger guys, we've only been around the seniors a year, but it's an incredible group of seniors, um, especially right now, at least three starters that are seniors. Um, and even knowing them for a little over a year, it would mean a lot for us to get it for them. Obviously, we all want